Hello and welcome back. We are We are in the Tower of Veils and we're about to see how nasty things can get here Um, what you found a chest key that's not the button I pressed I pressed two But I guess I don't have any stamina right now trespassers. That's true Uh, Not so bad so far But you know I'm sure things will get worse. Nothing useful. We're gonna have to travel to the base. Need a large copper key. There's gonna be multiple floors. There's apparently gonna be lots of traps. Unlocked. Rosetta. Oh, thank goodness. I don't have enough of those. Dodged. So far, this is fine. I'm actually totally fine with this. I feel like it, the jest made makes this place look easy, but you know, reserving judgment for when I see something a bit more scary. Need a large copper key? Okay, that's fine. Trap spotted. Jangle. Jangle unchained. Except there's a chain right there. Um. All right. I was really trying hard to avoid get, taking damage there. I know I could be stuck. Oh, big lad. And uh, our old nemesis, shiny bug. Let's just go ahead and throw another one of those down. You found tiny lead key. Ooh, there's something there. There's something. There's something there. What is that? A woolen cloak. Can we wear that? Looks to be a slight improvement, except we are kind of maxing out our endurance right now. You know what we should really do? Um, I'm sure someone has been yelling at me to do this. Is I should use both of our devotional tears and then spend that on the Sanguine Moon. Although I think the reason I haven't been doing that is because um, I might want to save for something else. But I think that endurance, uh, or like our capacity to wear things, is possibly our most important trait. Um, maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe I'm completely wrong about that. But I'm gonna make a call. And I think that no matter wh what I use the devotional tier on, um, it's fine. You know, I, I think that it's just fine. And, um, you know. You, you gotta pick your battles. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this and we'll get a little bit more endurance. And we're at 105 now, so we can wear some more armor. Um, could wear like nose guard helmet for an example. Gives us a bit more endurance. Or uh, uh, stun resistance. We can put on this woolen cloak. Put that on. And, uh... We could put on this nose guard helmet. Then, what, what else? Leather gloves is, uh, gloves is a downgrade. Plate mail greaves is an upgrade. But then we're starting to lose a little bit on our movement speed. Okay. Well, either way, I think we're I think we're doing all right. I, I think we could wear some more stuff. Um, still have, I'm wearing my plate mail armor. That's the important thing. Our dude is starting to look pretty kitted out. Oh, I don't know why I stepped right on the trap there, but that's fine. Need a large copper key. Where else am I going? I feel like I've been everywhere. How have I not found a large copper key? Need a tiny lead key. I thought I found that. I, found, I thought I found exactly that. Hmm. 
Did I use it on this one over here? A little bit confused. It's okay. I don't know if I can get through there without taking some damage. Wonder if this is anything? No. Ah, I was I was wondering if maybe there's a hidden door here. Okay, we got some new spookies. Some beholder type dudes. They resist br bleeding, but they're not beyond bleeding. Okay, these guys are tough. These guys are, are what I was talking about. And we're going to have to use a potion. I should probably start using some of these. These do raw physical damage. Um, potion of healing, drink. And let's try using a rod of shadow bolt on this guy. I really didn't seem to do all that much, I, I will say. Not enough energy. I, I feel like more often than not, the best move is to just, like, take a, uh, stereo root or stereo potion. Stereo draft. Potion of Stunning. Let's throw that. Okay, they're stunned. That buys us a little bit of time. Let's uh, take a potion, a healing potion. We're on fire right now, which isn't great. And we are also poisoned and rotting. Uh, we definitely need to take a Staria Draft. Would like to convert our various ailments, but I also want to hit these guys hard. Let's take a starrier root and convert. I didn't really do very much. I, I think it's time for a construct. I think this is, like, not going well. Kind of, like, I, I need to figure out what will put us out. Drink a, it removes torpor. This removes uh, madness. Panacea would probably remove everything. We could take a panacea, I suppose. Uh... Restore balance to those who are stunned. Uh, we're not stunned. Kind of, I really wish, un like, in the description, it would just say what it is. Maybe water would put us out. Yeah, that, that would probably do it. But we're next to fire, so we're on fire again. Oh, this is really not going well. Drink another potion. Drink another Staria draft. And... Throw down another bloodstone. Hit these guys hard if I can. Found a strange copper key. Found a large copper key. Thank you, constructs. You guys are honestly the MLGs. Or MVPs, I should say. Um. Alright, let me... Do I have a large potion? Large healing potion? It's not going well. Those guys really took me out. It might be time to start doing, um... Quiet mode. Looks like my construct is, uh, gonna die. bug is yeah the bug still hits hard still hits really hard 
Convert, no status changes, okay. Oh, God damn it. Oh! And I don't have enough for a conversion? When did this become so expensive? I'm, I'm like blowing through everything. I'm just gonna take a panacea. Do we have the means to make any health potions? No, we don't. I feel like I should start using some of these other potions. Potion of Madness. Do we, did we, oh, we do have a lot of Potion of Madness. We, we're gonna die. Like, I don't have any recovery, basically, right now. Sucks. Uh, yep. Okay. Are you kidding me? I didn't even see it. Like, I, I thought it, I thought we were good. <laughs> I thought we were good. I really did. I, like, I didn't see any shards. I thought that the bug had taken the shards. Why does that happen so often? Like, why does the bug die before the shards hit it. What What is killing the bug? I don't understand that at all. Um, any effects of negation? Now I have to try and get rid of her bleeding. Otherwise, I am going to die. Little, a few quality of life things are, are kind of mounting up right now and, and bugging me a lot. Like having to read a whole description for a potion to find out what it does because neither the name of the potion nor is there any like convenient place to see what it does so i have to spend a lot of time reading through descriptions for a potion rather than just like oh cures blindness cures bleed like that's all i want um bitter brew amber maddened nope I'm just gonna take another panacea and that's just because I don't I don't even think I have anything that cures um, bleeding uh, yeah I don't think I do and I, str I straight up don't have anything that can help right I can make more staria drafts and those do help Was that the only one I could make? I think so. Uh, th I am not going to survive this. I know low health. I know. Um. Okay. They only poisoned me, which is fine. I don't mind being poisoned. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and put some oil in our lamp. Nothing useful. Nothing useful. Cat meat. Venison. That's kind of nice. Um. Okay, we're gonna throw some potion poisons at this guy and all kinds of stuff. Throw poison. Immune to poison. You know, this seems to happen to me a lot. I seem to find myself in positions a lot where as soon as I start using things like potions and stuff to affect a creature, they're immune to it. I find this happens a lot in Baldur's Gate where it's like, oh, you know, here's a big tough battle. Now I'll start using like all of these things that apply like uh, status effects and all that stuff. This creature is immune to all status effects. Thanks, bud. Really appreciate that, like... Just, like, just, just, just absolutely pulp my agency as a player into oblivion, please. Love that. 
Um, okay. Well, uh, that is another tough fight. It, it, do I have to use my devotional tears again? Yes, I do. So we're going to go ahead and do that again. Although maybe, maybe I shouldn't, honestly, because like it didn't really help. I guess I'm doing it anyway, but um, I, I just feel like I am going to have to anyway. Like I'm going to have to be have points in everything, basically. We could do oh what why are why are we still at 94 shouldn't i be at like 105 maybe i miss misread at one point we could put on plate mail greaves that's quite nice instead of leather gloves or i guess it wasn't leather gloves it was like i put on the nose guard helm one more point in endurance wouldn't be bad. Honestly, taking one point in speed is fine. I, I think that that's totally fine. Um, in order to get a little bit more. I still don't know how to get into any of these temples. I really feel like maybe that's what I should be doing. Poison Cross. Wonder if that was the cross they meant. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about it. You know, one thing we should do is we should just put a pin in this last Roche's bell. Barely audible. It is south of us. Um, I'd like to I really want to find the last locust part and I'm it did say that You should be able to see uh, The temple from far away, right? Like these are you find the locust parts in in large temples like, I guess, like, the Inflamed Glade, for an example. I wonder if, um, like, the Poison Cross, for example, would be something like that. Let's just go have a look. I have a funny feeling that is kind of what we're looking for. I don't know if this, you know, if this is the one, that would be, like, insanely lucky, but... Doubt that this is the one, but... Okay, yeah, this is the this is a the, an example of a place I found um, a locust part in. So I just have to find others. So this is one, two, three, four, five. Well, there's more than five. There's like six of them. In fact, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I assume I've been to all of these. Well, Bale's tomb, I'm pretty sure, didn't have a locust part. I think we got one from Delara. Uh, I'm pretty sure we did get the one from Venom Cube. Is Sarah? Do Sarah? I'm gonna assume that if it has a name like Do Sarah that it's not what we're looking for. Have I not been there? I swear to God, I have been there. What is that X? I put an X there and I don't know why, which again illustrates my uh, need, desire for um, being able to mark the map with a meaningful note of any kind. There's a herb here. That's really the reason I came here. Holy leaf. We have a golem to our east. Can I go through there? Okay. Have I not tried to go through this path? Apparently, I haven't tried to go through here. That's silly. 
I swear to God, I tried in every way to get into these mountains. Okay, well, we haven't done this. And this has got to be easier than what I've been trying to do. The, the relic dungeons are really tough. Let me just make sure I'm wearing all my all the armor that I can. Yeah, it looks like. Yeah, I thought that was going to hit me. You learned about the spell mutate. The second syllable is na. Scribble the message in your notebook. Mutate, huh? Yeah, undead are a real problem for me. Not sure why. They just seem to do a lot of damage and they always come in like threes, you know? Large copper key. You found me. I sure did. And now you're going to die. Come here. Oh, he heals me. Well, that was kind of nice. I, I, I was really hankering for a heal, honestly. Find the correct pressure plate. Okay. Invalid target. Throw one of those down there. Oh god, I, I really hate undead, to be honest. They're so annoying. <laughs> Alright, kill that lad. I, I always seem to do it. It's, it's amazing. Every single time I seem to put bleeding on myself. It's actually fantastic. And I'm not going to be able to use, like, bloody feast off these guys, because, um, of course, they are undead. Right, also, these guys are undead, so they're going to be coming back, like, several times. Strange copper key. I am, I am not doing well right now. I died. I really should have put myself out, but... Please do not close the game. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm just gonna try again. Chest key. I don't think that this dungeon is all that hard. I'm just playing it a little bit too quickly. And it's mostly out of impatience. Wow, we got an unknown device. Incredible. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to heal myself. There's not really, like... Actually, I guess we can... No, we don't have anything wrong with us right now. So I can't convert. I can't bloody feast, because these guys are undead, so they're not gonna have any health. I can't make any potions. I really should just go and buy some potions. Do those, like, weird target eyes bring them back to life? Seems to be the case. Moldy mushroom pie. Yummy. You're blind. Well, that means we can convert, which is kind of nice. I wish, um, I wish that convert gave us more health and did not cost as much. <laughs> Despite the fact that I've used it, like, several times. Um, we're gonna use a Rosetta Stone, because I have a Orb of Insanity, yay. Um, Strange Rod, Wand of Moonlight.
No longer blind. We're actually doing okay this time, I think. I really, really hate these flaming skulls. I really, really, really hate these flaming skulls. There's basically no way to avoid getting set on fire. Okay. I think one of the reasons I get, I, I put bleed on myself so often is it's really hard for me to actually see the little shards that come out of the bloodstone and and so I just like, oh, we're good. I, I don't see it. And then I just die. I'm actually going to use part of my life stone because I'm like really over getting like a tiny bit of health. Please. My, pla my patience is kind of waning, I have to say. I think it's partially... Probably mostly because I'm I'm fighting undead and I just find them to be maybe one of the most annoying enemy in this game Because they like they just they set you on fire they come back to life they spawn a bazillion things um, They're just like incredibly incredibly they heal themselves Possibly one of the most annoying game uh, characters or enemies I'd like this but I don't want to be set on fire but I guess I was willing to make the sacrifice okay it's fine it's going fine let's get our poise back continue exploring the dungeon kill the bug that jump scared me don't get Bled again. Construct parts, honestly, we could use that. I should go and explore some more uh, construct ruins. Oh. I'm gonna be starving soon. Just fine. We we have we've got plenty of food, I think. Uh, there's really no winning here because I'm trying to kill the stupid flame thing because it brings them back to life. But in the meantime, every time I miss, the 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 dude has the potential to heal themselves. And there we go. He brought himself back to full health. I really hate these guys. I can't tell you honestly how much they bother me. <laughs> I guess what I gotta do is, like I can bring them back down to low health get out of here and then kill this thing there we go okay learning methods actually applying any kind of strategy and thought to this now cool apparently we're torpid um let's eat some food Oh, apparently I don't have any venison or boar meat. Okay. That's fine. We're gonna eat all this moldy stuff. And then I'm gonna convert all of that into health. So these guys basically get two spells. They get to make the little summon the little dude that can bring him back to life. 
and summon the little dude that sets me on fire. And that's it. Potion of healing. Well, that's kind of nice. Um... Okay, we must be getting kind of close here. I think I have a key for this. What do you mean needs large copper key? Do I not have the large copper key? These guys... I feel like the undead do come back after a period of time. They must because, you know, I've, I swear to God, I, I re-explored the dungeon and they're all back. Please die. Okay, I think I missed something here. Maybe that's why I don't have the car the the copper key. No, uh, it was just a shortcut that I missed. But there is more here. Nope. No, never mind. There is not more here. So where's the large copper key? Probably a hidden door somewhere. First, I don't think you can have door, like secret doors in wooded areas like this. Maybe I can burn the woods. I swear to God, I, uh, I, I, I killed all of you. Yeah, without a doubt, undead are the, the most annoying. Here we go, mist. The cost is one minor construct. You learn about the spell mist, huh? Interesting. Oh, there's there's more here than I missed, maybe. Apparently, there. Oh, you're rotting. That's fine. Oh God, this guy again. I I just don't understand. I don't understand, and I never will. I never will understand. It's fine. What we're going to do is we're going to use some Staria Roots and convert that. And hopefully that will mitigate some of the damage we take. Okay, so I have a large copper key. Should be good now. More blobs. You guys can't come back to life, so I don't know what the deal is there. But maybe there is more of them hanging out. Ooh, okay, here we go. I guess maybe if the creature dies, like, instantly, like, if there's still damage left in the shard, it will just continue to pass through them. So, like, I am killing them with the, the shard. And then the shard is, like, still there to hit me. Ooh. Necessary ingredients for the Red Grove Priestess to make the Witch's Solvent. Oh, that was an Endura Herb. Oh, wow. Okay. Was really not expecting to find an Endura Herb here. So that's cool. Can we leave now? No, we have to leave manually. So that means we are going to be unlocking our third relic dungeon and unable to complete any of them. <laughs> because I am not strong or smart enough to do so just yet. But we're getting there. Checkpoint saved. Fantastic. There's still a bunch of stuff here that I haven't seen. So I have to assume that there's a way in there. 
I really I, I do feel like there's yeah I mean there's a river that goes in there so there's got to be a way of like destroying bridges or something I don't know but that's going to do it for this episode sorry I'm complaining so much I don't mean to uh, it's just like some things get get to me occasionally uh, there's a little bit here that we could explore that I'm just noticing now but um, that's like at this point now I'm just looking for the final locust piece and I'm not sure what else. I guess we we have the tower. Um, we have the tower. We, yeah, we now have the ability to get into the necropolis. Yay, more undead. Hooray. So we have the necropolis. We have the tower of veils. We have the chest. Um, we killed Slethin. I'm not sure if that was one of them. I'm pretty sure it was. Um, that was like one of the major things. Actually, you know, uh, easy way is to just go through the, the god successfully hunted deer, uh, find a legendary sword, defeat a relic guardian, gain the steadfast hand. Where is that? Garden of Lorelei. I don't, I haven't heard anything about the Garden of Lorelei as far as I know. Maybe I have, and I just haven't been paying attention, but I'm pretty sure I haven't found out anything about the Garden of Lorelei. But, and we also have to kill the last uh, ghost, so we'll do that as well. Uh, if you're enjoying this series, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.